Veritas News. And welcome back, friends, family, and others, to another video of Veritas News. Yes! Woo! Welcome, welcome. Before we start, we want to say how thankful we are for the love and support we received from our first video. Yes, your compliments and encouragement almost make me tear up. Yes, so please continue to support and watch our videos, because with your help, we believe that God will use this opportunity to spread the Christ-centered values and virtues cultivated at Veritas to those who need to know about it. Alrighty, let's go into last month's recap. Our Candy Graham event took place on February 14th, and it was a huge success. Shout out to all the people who helped fundraise that. And thank you to everyone who bought Candy Grams to support the Volunteer Club. On the 17th, we had a very special guest for our Veritas' annual Science and Faith Seminar by Dr. Douglas Axe. Yes, he's a professor of molecular biology at Biola University. And he gave us a really interesting seminar about how science does not combat or is not meant to combat Christianity. I'm sure you can talk about it for hours, I'm sure I can. But thankfully the seminar was uploaded on our Veritas YouTube channel. So if you're interested in hearing what Dr. Axe had to say about this extremely important topic, make sure to check that out. We had an amazing open house on the 28th, where Veritas shared its vision and took a sneak peek into the curriculum, pieces of classical literature and electives. I had a great time learning about what really goes on in the school, and I found appreciation in the subjects that I learned. Yeah, each teacher had rotations of different classes showing what every day is like for Veritas students. Did you hear about our basketball team? Yeah, we finally have our own Veritas basketball team. Woo! Please support and look out for fundraisers coming ahead. Veritas will also be offering SAT prep classes for 10th and 11th grade students. Our very own teachers, Mr. Ling and Mr. Lee, who have years of experience, will be teaching these classes. You can check the Veritas newsletter for more info. Moving on to the beautiful month of March. We got a lot happening, guys. We will not have school on March 3rd due to faculty development. Yay! No school! I mean, no. <laughs> From March 6th to 10th, we've got midterms week! Yes, I'm so excited! How about you, Mary? So excited! Make sure you get your studies in now, everybody, so you don't worry about it later. So since midterms end on the 10th, that also marks the end of the third quarter. What? That's crazy! I know! Time does fly by so quickly when you get older. Man, we're not that old. Anyways, moving on. Spring break will begin on the 13th of March and end on the 17th. So don't miss us too much. <laughs> But that's not all, is there, Derek? Di sucro no signoria. We are so excited to announce the dates to Veritas's super sick, totally worth it, once in a lifetime, biannual Italy, Italy trip. Yeah, hey, I'm so excited. Me too. And not just because of the delicious food and beautiful scenery, but because the tour of the beautiful country will be led by the one and only. Dr. Horner. Wow! Ooh, I heard a lot of great stuff about him. Can't wait to meet him in person. Hey, want to hear something I learned in Italian? Sure! Mi piace il tuo fior di formaggio. Uh, you just told me that you like my cheese flowers. I did? Oh, I didn't mean to say that, but at least I know how to say that now. <laughs> Anyways, we'll be flying out on the 9th and we'll be returning on the 18th, so please do keep us in your prayers. Yes, as it is a large group, we ask that you pray for safe travel and for us to have a really blessed time there, in fellowship and with one another. Moving on. On the 13th of March, the 7th and 8th graders will be having their very own adventure to Washington, D.C. Woo woo! We're so excited for you guys! Yes, they'll be coming back on the 17th, so please keep them in your prayers as well. And to top it all off, the 20th of March marks the first day of the last quarter of 2022 to 2023 school year. It's coming all to an end so quickly. Yes, for the seniors, this will be their last quarter with us, so do keep them in mind and, I don't know, hug, cry, laugh with them, because unfortunately, we don't have a lot of time left. Yes, and especially with college decisions coming around, let's all pray for them at this time. They need a lot of God-given wisdom. Don't we all? True, true. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you! Oh, the mood suddenly became so dank and dark, we apologize. Yeah, let's raise the mood a little bit because we got birthdays coming up in March. Woo! Yeah, so get ready. All you March birthdays, none of you guys are safe. That's right. We're going to call out each and every one of you. So to start off, we got Karis Park. Woo! 
on March 1st. What a great way to start off the month, am I right? Absolutely, and following close behind, we got Kyle Cho on the 8th. And last, but definitely not least, on the 22nd, we got my very own JP, a.k.a. Joshua Park, a.k.a. Park Jiminy, a.k.a. my younger brother. What, what? Congratulations, March birthdays! Everybody else, remember to congratulate them with their day comes, and, you know, give them hugs and brotherly high fives. Yeah, make sure to take the time to share the love of Jesus on their special day. Well, that's all we have for you this month. Thank you for watching. See you again next month. Bye! Bye. My name is Ezra Lee. I am a PE teacher and also I do facilities management and uh, office work as needed. I've been here for six months now, I think. Uh, I started working in September, so it'll be coming up on six months soon. Uh, it's been really good. It's been eye-opening in terms of thinking about this new way of education that I discovered very recently. Um, learning what it means to be uh, a PE teacher, because um, I've never done that before. Learning what it means to be a Christian PE teacher. Um, how to deal with students in terms of their education and their spiritual life. Uh, it's been eye-opening, it's been challenging, uh, it's been, but it's been a good experience all around. Oh, hopes for Veritas. Um, yeah, I think that just, um, from a third person's perspective, I think that Veritas is going through some transition. Um, it's grown to a size where um, serious kind of recalibrations and uh, recommitments to core values are necessary. And I hope that um, the uh, faculty are on board with what Dr. Kim wants to do. I hope that the students uh, will be able to understand what the teachers want um, to communicate to them. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to, I think, I think I'll be coming back next year, so I, I think I'll be um, uh, on that journey, so figuring out what that means to try to instill those values and um, core, uh, core beliefs into students in a loving way. Um, it's going to be exciting, challenging, but also exciting, so I'm um, really hoping, looking forward to uh, seeing uh, all of that, how that happens. Um, I'm really excited for the opportunity to continue working here and I look forward to working with all the staff, faculty and the students moving forward. Thanks. Bye.